You are busy, busy with your job, family, and the things that make you happy. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan. Take just a few minutes with me each week as I give you an overview of the economy, markets, and the things that can have a real impact on your life savings. Subscribe now and spend more time on the things most important to you. So the Dow reaches its second milestone in a month. Last week, the blue chips improved over 1% on the way to a Friday settlement of 26,071. On Tuesday, the benchmark closed above 26,000 to complete the quickest 1,000 point climb in its history. And it only took eight days. The previous record was 23 trading sessions. The NASDAQ composite up over a percent to 73.36, and the S&P 500 up just shy of 1% to 2810, also logged weekly advances. So the initial January University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index came in at 94.4 last week, one and a half points beneath its final reading of, two, of 2017, and 4.1 points under its level of one year ago. Without prompting, 34% of respondents to the latest survey brought up the subject of the recent federal tax reforms. 70% of them felt the reforms would have a positive effect on their lives, 18% a negative effect. So new Census Bureau data shows new house housing groundbreaking decreased over 8% in December after a revised 3% November gain. Building permits ticked down 0.1% last month. So commodity investors watched the premier digital currency, Bitcoin, crest above $14,000 on Monday, sink under $10,000 on Wednesday, and rebound to a price of $11,400 as Wall Street's trading week ended. Then on Friday, the International Energy Agency predicted U.S. oil output would near a 50-year 50 50 peak in 2018. That hurt prices and left WTI crude 1.5% lower for the week. It fell to $63.37 a barrel at Friday's closing bell. All right, so looking ahead at this week, uh, Halliburton, Netflix, TD Ameritrade, UBS, and Zions Bank Corp issue earnings today, Monday. Capital One, Fifth Third, Johnson & Johnson, Kimberly Clark, Procter & Gamble, State Street, Texas Instruments, Travelers Companies, and Verizon join the earnings parade tomorrow, Tuesday. December existing home sales figures appear Wednesday, plus earnings from Abbott Labs, Ameriprise Financial, Comcast, Discover, Ford Motor Company, General Dynamics, General Electric, Granger, Leg Mason, Northern Trust, Novartis, Rockwell Automation, Royal Caribbean International, Stanley Black & Decker, United Rentals, and Whirlpool. On Thursday, December new home sales numbers emerge, plus the latest initial jobless claims report and earnings from 3M, Alaska Air Group, American Airlines, Biogen, Caterpillar, Selenese, Fiat Chrysler, Freeport, Intel, JetBlue, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, Sherwin-Williams, Southwest Airlines, Starbucks, Union Pacific, and Western Digital. The first estimate of quarter four economic expansion arrives on Friday, along with earnings news from Colgate Palmolive, Honeywell, NextEra Energy, and Rockwell Collins. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you'd prefer to read the transcript each week, you can subscribe to that at www.erichagan.pro. Also, if you'd like to get financially organized, head on over to nocostfinancialdashboard.com and take control of your financial future. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.